I'm the greatest of all time. I would like to make a toast to 2016. Never mind. <laughs> Give it up for David Bowie. <laughs> David Bowie looked like the mayor of Boy's Town. <laughs> David Bowie looks like he does Instagram makeup tutorials. The only thing David Boy ever did for black people was give us a sample for Been Around the World by P. Diddy. I thought David Boy was the actor that played the Green Goblin in Spider-Man. He's not. But all ugly white actors look the same. Give it up for Fidel Castro. Fidel Castro dressed like a refugee bellhop. <laughs> Fidel claimed the fame was taking over Cuba when didn't nobody want it. <laughs> That's like Drake being proud that he's dating J-Lo. That's the same. Nobody want that. Nobody want that. <laughs> Fidel Castro is known to be a, to be a communist in the streets and a Republican in the bedroom. If he had a Cuban cigar for every time he didn't make a woman come, he'd be smoking them all, all the time. <laughs> Florence Henderson makes a noise for Florence. Florence is best known for a role as Carol Brady. Um, she was a single mother with three girls. She met a single man with three boys and got married. What date nap was she using? Uh, plenty of kids? <laughs> or We Harmony? What, I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but if I was a single man, I had three sons, and I met a single woman with three daughters. Me and my boys fucking. We all fucking. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I'd be, be their stepdaddy daddy, and they'd be my stepson sons, but we all fucking. I don't know. Match made in heaven. I don't know what you're <laughs> We got a uh, Prince and George Michael make some noise for him. <laughs> so much eyeliner between the two of them. So much, so much eyeliner. Y'all two made Lil Richard proud, all that eyeliner. And upset at the same time because he was the originator. Uh, give it up for George for making it out of the 80s without AIDS. That's a, that's a quote, that's a feat. That's a, if you could be AIDS and Mike Tyson punch out, you was good for 30 years. If you could be those two things in the 80s, you was, you're solid. Give it up for Prince, uh, one of the most influential and groundbreaking, controversial, controversial artists of the 20th century. Thank you, one person that's clapping. Did y'all know that Prince became a Jehovah Witness in 2001? He was 41 years old. That's just a fact I want to share with y'all. He was 41 when he became a joke. All the time, he just finally decided to open the door. Who the hell, who does that? Did they have Girl Scout cookies? Why did you? They had, uh, they had Barb from that show I never seen because I changed my Netflix subscription. Password, I don't know. Yeah, we got we got Alan, Alan, um, with all due respect, y'all um, shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here at all. Uh, way more important people died this year. Uh, Arnold Palmer, uh, Fife Dog, uh, <laughs> Gary Shanlin, China, from Wrestler. Hell, I would've took Tommy for Martin over y'all. <laughs> uh, not a lot of Martin fans in the crowd. <laughs> um, Harambe. Um, all I can say is, uh, you had a good run, nigga. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Harambe. 
It was. You was a primate till you touched that little white boy. <laughs> then you became a nigga. Just ask Michael Jackson. Leave them, leave them little white boys alone. You know what I'm 